fantastic to see y'all, kind of. It's, it's, I can actually see you more than I could see on the, the screen, you know? I wouldn't miss the comments, but this is a new way to do it. We're excited about it. <laughs> Fantastic night lined up for you. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna kind of get set up at the same time. Gotta stay on schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, fantastic stuff. We've got musical guest Travis Buckin. <laughs> that live music. It's been so long since I've heard live music. I've just been a shut in for two years. <laughs> and I'm finally around people. Crazy. Another. A uh, person we have out is Christian Escamilla, a returning person. Yeah. Yeah. All the dads you can handle. Yeah. Right here, in your face. This Woo. might be a splash zone. Watch out. <laughs> so you may remember us from uh, Weekend Science Update. Yeah. Maybe, Woo. maybe. We're going longer form, all right? This is a full class session. I hope you looked at your syllabus. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be pleased. <laughs> but to get started, we need a subject, something that maybe you wish you could have taken in school. Like me, it's gonna it would take a lot for me to go back to school. But if it was just like, just a Lego class, I would take a Lego class and pay ungodly amounts of money. <laughs> uh, so what is a subject that maybe exists, maybe it doesn't exist, that you would like to take? Something Underwater like masturbating. Under, I think we did that we, show, right? Yeah. yeah. That might Star, Wars. Yeah. Star Wars? Star yeah. Wars? Motor boating. Star Wars has been said, and I know Matt's brain is shut off at this point. <laughs> it's just not real stuff now. <laughs> no, was there, We're just gonna tell you about the Star Wars. No other suggestions are coming through here. Here's like nothing though. I don't know anything about Star Wars. <laughs> so I think it's I think it's Star Wars. Yeah, it's Star Wars. Yeah, it's Star Wars. Of course it is. As soon as Star Wars was said, it was over. So this is a class setting. And like any good teacher, we require classroom participation. I need one audience member, one student, to volunteer to write anything they know about Star Wars on this poster. We need it. It is, it is the classroom requirement. There we go. I see a hand in the back. Thank you so much. Extra credit. Okay, so we're going to go um, back before you write. We don't want to see what you write. You write it up here. Anything you know about Star Wars. I don't know what side you're on, if you know a lot or nothing. That's, that's fine. Anything you want up here, once you're done, we'll hear an audience applause, and we know we're on. Okay. Okay, thank you.
you know a lot. <laughs> Sometimes when you have something on your mind, you have to simply put it out into the world. Yes? Yes. 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 Today, of course, it's very important that we talk about this now. It is Ronald Reagan's Star Wars program. (laughs) How we can defeat it, how we can overcome it, perhaps how we can make our own better one. Perhaps a trek. Anyway. (laughs) <laughs> it's important to know the key point of the Star Wars program, of course, is lasers, right? Yeah. Lasers, everyone loves them. Cats love them, people. But cats love them more. Lasers are, it's an interesting thing. I think they you know are a laser. They are just cool. That is why we want lasers. <laughs> because what is it in every single movie, even action movie? A laser, cut a man in half. Beautiful. <laughs> Security. You don't want someone dropping down your giant shaft. Uh, right? Yeah. I use the words I use. <laughs> I was just imagining in my head a man dropping down my giant shaft. <laughs> yes, but if you don't want that to happen, you need lasers. You don't want it, that's right. <laughs> but if you do want it to happen, you could just use the lasers for light shows. Right. There's options. <laughs> Lasers are options. They are not. They are not very good yet. We admit. We have not cut men in half, but we have blinded them. <laughs> Strap this at the table, and for much longer than the recommended setting, shine it in his eyes. <laughs> yes, not completely debilitating, but very annoying. <laughs> and which sometimes is just what you want to do. You know, when it comes to torture, we both are torture. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to completely debilitate them. No, it, that is too much. You just want to slightly irritate them. Right? Sometimes a paper cut is better than a knife to the side of the heart. Yeah, it's true. A lot of paper cuts. It's a beautiful thing when you strap a man down on a table and you take a paper over a course of many weeks and you slice him. You make him cry. (laughs) Another good thing to do with the paper is to write the names of his loved ones on it. (laughs) And then cross them out with no explanation. (laughs) Were they eliminated? Did we give them a call? They denied, you know, wanting to you know, donate to our cop, maybe. <laughs> All of this could be true. These are the tears. These are the tears of our enemies. That is also a very important thing. And nutritious. You, <laughs> you, yes, yes, you are a tear drinker, I can tell. <laughs> Once you've had one drop, you, you just cannot go back. Okay. It's better than Ivy on. <laughs> That's definitely how you say it, right? Yes, yes. I better put that than design. <laughs> Another thing that is important for the Star Wars program is rockets. <laughs> You cannot get into the stars without a rocket. Yes. <laughs> and so we start first with fireworks. <laughs> there is nothing more beautiful than strapping a man down on a table <laughs> and putting fireworks inside of him. <laughs> <laughs> and a very long fuse out of the door, and you light it. But here's the key you don't watch, you just listen. <laughs> <laughs> It's very loud, it's not hard to do. (laughs) But, with the fireworks, and the lasers, and the rockets, 
One thing you need also is an enemy. It's about the wars. All right? If you do all these things by yourself at home, you just weep. <laughs> you need to have an arch nemesis, an enemy, a great enemy, right? Perhaps he is an old, aging man with dementia, like round three. That's our enemy. But perhaps he is not that. Maybe you have a feud with a small child. I'm not here to judge you, okay? <laughs> that can be real. <laughs> feud with small children. Yeah, no, it, it can be very real. There was, I mean, especially when you're a child, right? There is no arguing with them. Huh? You give them facts, you give them logic, you give them math. They don't care. They call you poopy head, and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. I still remember third grade. And I was called a poopy head. And, it, what, and there was nothing I could do. I, I, I stood there, and I contemplated deeply inside myself, perhaps I am a poopy head. <laughs> what does that mean for me? What does that mean for my future? He caused me to have a complete existential crisis right there on the playground at the end of the slot. <laughs> and that is not the place where you want to be having those kind of crises. <laughs> yes. But there's a lot of type of relationships. You can have your arch nemesis that is key. Nothing will motivate you more than an arch nemesis. But to keep you happy, Happiness is key in the war, and for that, you need a friend. <laughs> it was a long time I went without a friend, until I met my colleague, Rosh. Yes, in the before times I was very new. I had no enemy, so I could not make war. I had no laser because it was taken from me as a child. And I had no rockets because they were expensive. And so you came along. You came into my life and you gave me purpose again. In a very deep and meaningful way. That I will never be able to repay you. I do not think you can. <laughs> you say well, I cannot repay you. I didn't say that, but it's okay. I do not No, this is not no this is not okay now. You're saying I can't repay you? That's right. <laughs> it's impossible. Because I'm incapable or you will not allow? Well, no, it's just because there are levels. And like, I'm a seven, you're a four. And so it's like I sacrifice things to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming dangerously close to enemy relationship territory right now. With the words you are saying. It is okay that gives us a chance to make up. And that makes friendship even stronger. It's like a breaking metal with your leg, and then you weld it back together. It's stronger. <laughs> you can do that? I can do that. Uh -huh. When I was younger. <laughs> yes. Friendship. Now, perhaps it's time we introduce uh, a little bit of extracurricular <laughs> reading to uh, our research and activities. Oh, that was close. It was close. <laughs> I'm a seven, not it. Okay. A lot of this goes into it. So a long time ago. Right? <laughs> Very, it's difficult for me to get into. Your, your grudges have to run deep. Yeah. That is important. If you do not have like a country that you have hated for a very long time, or a person that you have hated for a very long time, your motivation will run out like a, like an American deal. <laughs> but something that keeps it going is family. <laughs> it's a very interesting dynamic uh, that can you know go a lot of different ways. It is like a double relationship. <laughs> yes, yes, it, this is. When you maybe want to combine things too close, you know? It's too close. You, one person cannot be everything to you. Am I right? You, you need uh, different people in your life provide different things. And uh, it's best that way. Uh, so this is the no go. Because <laughs> you're combining too many things into one thing. It's, it's, it's like uh, the, the drink you make with the, the water fountain when you put all of them in. Oh, yeah, suicide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
Wookies. Wookies. What does they mean by Wookies is dog? You need a dog. <laughs> Everybody does. It's, it's very important. I mean, you've got to think like safekeeping, like to keep you safe and your house safe. Dog, great. That's right. Great addition for that. Best friend? He's right there. He's always right there. You don't have to worry about best friend, you know, dog being a seven and you being a four. <laughs> no, the book. Number three, torture. You strap a man down on a table and then you put your dog in the room with him. No dog food, though. For a long time, man is strapped down, dog is hungry. Slow devouring. Han shot first. He was a, a Deutsch man, he shot me. <laughs> Very frustrating because I was not even going to shoot him. But he thought I was going to shoot him, so he shot me first. It was just a big misunderstanding. To this day, I would like to go up to Han and say, no, I wasn't going to shoot you. What the hell did you do? <laughs> I, I, I still have pain in my side. I give you a massage each night. Make sure it goes to the pitch. <laughs> yes. That is friendship. <laughs> That's your friendship. We're not layering things, don't worry about it. <laughs> the women are badass. This is just universally true. Okay. If you're going to get something done and you want it to be done badassly, you gotta get the one. They're just going to do it badassly. All right? They do it better looking, they do it more stealthily, and all this comes down to men being a little bit stupid. <laughs> they just want to run in, shoot first. I guarantee you, if Han was a woman, she would not shoot first, she would poison. And you will not be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we will not finish the job. Jar Jar sucks. This is true. I hate Jar. For so many times, I'm trying to get something out open, and I cannot. The jar is rusted shut. It's rusted shut. Everything I have is very old. It comes from mine. Uh, it's all rusted shut. Personally, I hate it, but that is what you must do. All right? When you are prepared for the end of the world, the day Daddy issues. This is a youth. This is this is a youth. <laughs> right. You it's may be a seven, seven, but you got others. The best the best way to uh, to raise soldiers is to give them daddy issues. <laughs> 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 that is because they need somebody to look up to in their life, and they don't know what real love feels like. And so their sergeant, they will die for him. So when he sends them on a mission, it is not a very good mission, they will go anyways, because they love their surrogate father. <laughs> <laughs> so I ask all of you in this room today, if you have children, treat them badly. For <laughs> 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 <Enjoy> your country. <laughs> Alien Cantina. It is important uh, to have a nice welcoming environment, you know, when it comes to camaraderie and building the army for your star Wars, okay? Uh, you know, a cantina, preferably with some music going on, you know, uh, a nice fun tune, gets catchy, gets in your head, you and, that is fun. And aliens. And aliens. That is cool. important, that because is we have not quite figured out the rocket part yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to have to copy some homework uh, from the aliens. They clearly have the ship down. And uh, we need some notes, okay? Most lasers. of our rockets go be kaput. Yeah, go kaput. <laughs> yeah. Lasers, we also don't do lasers very well. Lots of things we take from aliens. <laughs> uh, there's other languages. You must be able to speak another language to be able to go into other countries and infiltrate them. <laughs> I think I've deciphered <laughs> the code. The anti-hero's rule. All right. And what is what is Russia if not the original anti-hero? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you hate 
liked us, but I, I, you love us too. Right? It's nice to have someone else to play ball with. Am I right? Yeah. What do you do today? Nothing. You just sit down. Oh, maybe I'll do stuff somewhere else. No, you don't, you don't have the rivalry anymore. That's the problem. It's a it's, again the relationship. You need the enemy. All right. You need the USSR back. Okay. <laughs> There's lots of different alien types. Some I like. Some, you know, they're okay. Uh, personally, I like uh, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this alien. He has a robot injected into his brain. That's like he is. He is logical. We can make friends with him. Unlike child, unlogical child. <laughs> robot injected in brain alien. Very good. So see, I can I know exactly what you are drawing already, and I can start explaining it now. <laughs> this is a spider alien that is smarter than earth spiders because earth spiders they don't they use all eight legs to walk. Why? You have eight legs. It's another leg to hold a ghost. That's <laughs> <laughs> what he's doing for sure. <laughs> this is the first alien we have met that actually wears clothing. It is it is nice to see, uh, or actually not to see, every single thing I want. Alien appendages. Then, if you've ever seen a penis, that is weird. <laughs> <laughs> An alien is just like a bunch of penis. Oh, <laughs> And then you've got just like the sack parts. <laughs> <laughs> All surrounding a very turgid center. <laughs> and the fourth type of alien. This alien, again, I know what you're doing. We will continue the lecture. Okay, this is just a cutie. You need a cutie on your team to help keep you motivated. This alien is like, uh, you see in the movie, uh, I don't know what it is, it has a baby Yoda in it, and everybody's like, oh, baby Yoda. That is inspired by real life adorable alien. Oh my god! Every time I look at it, I get just overwhelming hearts. <laughs> Swipe on you. <laughs> that doesn't mean what you think it means. <laughs> yeah, in Soviet Russia, they swipe you. <laughs> 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 so, we are on the way to becoming astronauts, which is a very exciting but also very scary 
in dev. Have any of you seen perhaps uh, what was it? Sandra Bullock Gravity? <laughs> From the theater. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. I was holding my breath because I was like, I'm in space. I'm going to. I can't breathe out here. I was it was that you. real to me? Yes. <laughs> and I'm glad you were because my yes. goodness, it was terrifying. I wouldn't have watched the long either. The weightlessness. All right. Well, there are some benefits, right? You don't have to worry about the scale anymore. <laughs> all right. Not the problem. You weigh nothing. Everybody weighs nothing. It's a great equalizer in that sense. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yes. Very happy. <laughs> Never been better used. But the downside, of course, is that over time your bones will deteriorate. You lose the strength of them because you are not having to battle against gravity anymore. Uh, so you're going to get uh, spaghetti arms. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This is actually a good thing if you happen to be on the sergeant side of things. Because then you give these guys laser guns, you give these guys training, you give these guys adorable little aliens who call their own.